Working on a computer for a long time continuously with the same sitting posture is one of the potential risk factor of office syndrome, which is the disease that usually occurs in the specific group of people who work very hard or continuously stay in the same or wrong position for over 8 to 6 hours a day, as well as other factors such as workaholic, hastiness, strain, diet, inadequate sleep. So office syndrome is the syndromes that happens in 80 people who have to work in, in like the same posture for a long period of time and continuously almost every day for long enough so the, the, this problem can happen. So um, it's not only happens in the, the people who are working in the office but it can happen in any people who are working and they have to do daily activity in the same posture for a long period of time, such as like some driver, chauffeur driver, some um, receptions that they have to stand for a long period of time in every, every day. So office syndrome can occur in, in these kind of people too. There's two factors that can make the office syndrome get worse. Um, the first factor is daily activities, as we know. In any people who have to stay in one posture long enough, and often enough they can have these problems and second is the, the patient's factors um, in any people who have weak muscles they tend to have like office syndrome easier than the people who got the strong muscles office syndrome can be observed by the three noticeable symptoms such as chronic backache pain in neck and shoulder migraine or chronic headache hand beriberi tendinitis and trigger finger Office syndrome is caused by continued use of the shoulder blade for too long so that there will be a pain in the trigger point. If the patient ignored these symptoms, it might get worse and eventually cause herniated disc or herniated intervertebral disc. Office syndrome, we can treat it in two ways together. The first one is we have to, to change our habits. If the patients cannot change their habits, even we can treat office syndromes and we, we successfully cure the disease, it can happen again and again. So the first thing, we have to, to cut the root cause of the problem. So we have to change our daily lifestyle. Here's the first thing. Second thing, we have to um, do some treatment for the patients, such as using medications, anti-inflammations, muscle relaxants, and together with the physical therapies. Office syndrome is not uh, the, the disease that can make any people get worse and then they have to do operations. But office syndrome can lead to some disease that can be worse and then the patients have to do operations. So office syndrome, if we have it and we don't treat it, finally the patients will get some degenerated disease just as um, the, the, the disc herniations, some spine collapse, some instabilities of the spine. So this disease maybe have to end up with the surgery. So office syndrome itself not making any people get worse until they have to do operations, but it can lead to some disease that can make you have to go for an operations. One of the best way to prevent office syndrome is to adjust your sitting position. The sitting position should be changed every 40 minutes to prevent you from having muscle spasm and subsequent slouching. You can adjust the chair's angle and level and avoid sitting at the edge of the seat. Besides, you will be recommended to do stretching, exercise, and eat healthy diets to increase your strength and body.